Hi everyone, Scott Smith in sunny Southern California. Woo! Wow! Check out this machine. Ho, 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 ho. 2019 BMW M850i Convertible X-Drive. And this is one in one of our new colors here, the Barcelona Blue Metallic with a Tartufo extended merino leather inside. Man, I'm so excited for the 8 Series to be back. Not to say the 6 Series wasn't an awesome car, but man, talk about taking this thing to the next level. It's got an awesome turbocharged V8 in it. Now it's 191 inches long, 75 inches wide, and only 53 inches tall. Check out that windshield. Look at that angle. This thing is so stealth. And that X-Drive all-wheel drive system, so much fun. And BMW has done an amazing job on this exhaust system, as you could hear a little bit there. But man, when you're in the car, especially here in Southern California with how many nice days we have, and you got that exhaust just ringing through the canyons while you're having fun in the windy roads, and there's so much stuff that's standard on this car. M adaptive suspension, active roll stabilization, you know, an M sport differential. There's just so much stuff that they put into these M performance lines, especially at this level with the 8 series. This is a whole nother beast than, than what it was back in the 90s. Check, check out the adaptive uh, LED headlights we've got standard. And that black we did the extended shadow line trim on this it's a very small option but really makes some attitude with the additional um, black chrome I kind of call it around different pieces and elements around the car so but let's go ahead and get around the other side here now curb weight is 4336 um, rear tracks about an inch wider than the front you got some nice 275 series performance run plats on the back Flats, no, excuse me, flats. So definitely great for some performance. Also for security, God forbid you get a flat, you're not stuck on the side of the freeway. Um, you can go 50 miles at 50 miles per hour um, to get it to get it replaced. Um, now the wheels we've got here, we've got some 20 inch by eight up front, 20 inch by nine in the back. This is the jet black M wheels here, style 728M. But let's get to the back of the car so Lauren can have some fun with this exhaust. Go for it, Lauren. Wow, nice. And it was amazing driving up here today in the sport mode. How much this exhaust and how lively it was. I mean, I'm telling you, everybody was looking. And it's not overly loud. I mean, it definitely sounds very customizable. It doesn't sound like a factory exhaust. Check out those rear lights. Hey, Lauren, can you hit the brakes? Cool. Check out those LEDs. Let's step back a little bit. Man, okay. Let's go look at the power plant. You ready, Lauren? Let's check out the monster underneath the hood. This is my co-host here, Lauren, one of our BMW geniuses. Hi, Lauren. Hi, how are you? Doing great. So underneath the hood, we have a 4.4 liter V8 uh, twin power turbo, producing 523 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque. And we've got a beautiful zero to 60 3.8 seconds on this thing. It's absolutely amazing, and the X-Drive helps a lot. I think a lot of BMW enthusiasts, including myself, were really excited about the re-release of the 8 Series. It's been over 20 years since we pretty much had the last 8 Series, the E31, which came in an 840, which was actually the V8 at the time, and the 850 at the time was actually a V12, so wow. crazy. I don't think we need that much gas guzzling, especially with the price in uh, Southern California of gas right now, so. True. <laughs> but this is amazingly fast. The handling, it's just ridiculously fast. Cool. So now let's show them the back seat. Now Lauren is 5'8 without the heels. So let's have her get the seat set up. I just want to show you that they are usable back seats. Obviously it's a lot easier to get in the back with the top down. Now the top goes up and down in 15 seconds and you can do it up to 30 miles per hour. So we'll have Lauren jump in the back. She's going to pull that seat back. So now we can actually see what kind of space there is for her. So as you can see there, we've got it pretty close to the back. 
I mean, she's 5'8", so you can see there's still plenty of room, and she's sitting up relatively straight, which is nice. So if you have to, you can see that you could put four adults in this car. You know, around town, go out for a quick dinner. You got friends, family, so it is definitely possible. And then the one thing I can say with the top going up and down so quickly, if you need to have the top up, go to the restaurant, you pull up, put the top down really quick, let the people out of the back, because obviously Lauren will show, she'll put the seat back forward, so go ahead and pull that, Lauren, and we'll put that up. And then she can stand up straight up, so go ahead and get up, Lauren. She can see, as you can see, the seat's moving forward. So now she can stand straight up and even step out with a dress, which is nice. So even though it's a convertible, it's definitely easy to get in and out of. If you'll notice here on the door sill, we have a carbon core, which initially is from our 7 series, so that's really going to help with the overall weight and the handling performance of the vehicle, the center of gravity. Just... More fun and more performance, huh? Exactly. Definitely. Especially with BMW using all types of ma amazing uh, substances and uh, materials in producing this car. Trying to be as, fit, as efficient as possible, but then having this car being as fun as possible. So now what we'll do is we'll have Lauren show us the trunk. She's grabbing the key, because now, compared to the 6 Series, we actually have a power trunk, a trunk yeah, lid. Trunk so again, like I said on the previous video, you have to make sure the key is on your person, in your pocket, in your handbag. Um, you just want to do one gesture and one gesture only that's going to open the trunk. So it's just a quick peek underneath, make sure your leg doesn't touch the car. And then that's going to open and close the trunk. Here we have our trunk partition. This is the button that of course closes the trunk. The hands-free operation with the kick will also close the trunk. Yeah, if this your is hands for are full. our windscreen. Yes, we'll yeah. put that in in just a minute. Mm -hmm. But also you've got eight cubic feet of storage in here, usable storage. And as we can see here, we're gonna pull the two handles. If Lauren, if you can pull that one there. There we go. And then I'll pull this one over here. So just in case. Now, Lauren, let's go drop the back seats really quick over here. You can drop your side. I'll drop mine. Now, what's nice, too, is they also made it where you can release the seat belt if you need to. So pull this up. You can pull the seat belt out, but it will drop connected. And then, as you can see, so they have given you a pass-through to the trunk just in case um, you need it. Or if you were going to put stuff in the back seat, as you can see, it's black carpet. You might not want to scratch up the nice leather, the Reno leather. So at least luggage if you were going to throw some more in the back seat. Or if you actually have a pet or something, as you can see, you'd probably rather have them sitting on this than you would on the leather. So I know obviously there's pet covers and different things you can get. But man, I love this color. BMW did an amazing job. It's not too orange, not too brown. What do you think, Lauren? I think I absolutely love the Barcelona blue. Uh, I went to two different events where they debuted the 8 Series before it was released and um, it was Sunset Orange the, the first time I think and then Barcelona Blue the second time and I just, it's so amazing, like it's metallic underneath and powder blue, it kind of, it really does remind me of the Yas Marino Blue but you know 8 Series is a special car so I think the color should be definitely special too. That's true. So we'll go ahead and close that, she's going to kick it. I love that feature. It yeah. works for me every time, just saying. It beeps. It flashes the lights, and then it closes up. Now, let me put up the window over there so we can go over the MSRP on this car. So I'm just gonna put that up real quick, and we can show you guys the sticker on this particular model. Mileage estimates. Let's do that. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna work with the camera. So with the convertible, we have a base price of 121. Barcelona blue metallic. Cartufo black merino leather. It's also available in full merino or extended merino. This one I think is the full merino leather. Driver assistance package, driver assistance professional with extended traffic gem Oh, here, assistant. come on over on this side, Lauren. Let's do that just because of the shadows. There we go. And you can point out some of the highlights. And then we have a glass control, which is a really small upgrade, but I think it truly makes this car pop. When I look inside, I just want to be wowed. And looking at that glass controller inside where the shifter is, I love it. The iDrive controller and the yeah. volume button. So we'll show you that in just a second in the sun. Then there's your miles. Uh, average of 20, city 17, highway 26. It is an 18 uh, gallon tank here in the United States. So you can get a pretty good distance per tank, especially on a road trip if you're talking mid 20s for mileage. 
especially with a you know twin turbo V8 over 500 horsepower and an all-wheel drive 47 pound vehicle 4700 pound vehicle so yeah just wanted to give you a quick look of everything that's on this car so you could see you know additional options and I tell you one thing go to bmwusa.com you can custom build this car and and when you get to the final summary page just hit on the standard equipment there is a ton of stuff standard on this vehicle so um, really BMW did a really nice job I know in the past a lot of our stuff been a la carte a lot of packages a lot of options but um, with the price point of this vehicle BMW did put a lot of performance and a lot of a lot of nice stuff so <laughs> oh, it was run I accidentally pushed the lock on the door so it honked the horn to say hey I'm still running so it does warn you obviously if you go to leave your car um, and it's still running and you go and lock the door with the keyless entry so just a nice safety feature so uh, let's have Lauren jump in the driver's seat We'll go over a few options here inside the car. Then I want to put in the wind deflector and then go for a little spin. So we can see here we've got a beautiful, nice dash. Contrast stitching really gives it some nice quality. We've got a 10 and a quarter inch screen here for our iDrive 7 central uh, command system. And then we've got a 12.3 inch dynamic digital dash there, which will be tailored to your type of driving. And you can customize the different items that are showing, that are showing up in the dash. And then look what else we've got. What is this? The Bowers and Wilkinsons? The Bowers sounds, and Wilkins, Wilkins sound system. system. It's great. Yeah. Um, and thank goodness we actually also have the door locks and the seat memory <laughs> on the door now. Right there. Easy to see, easy to get to. But that yeah. sound system, it's over 1,300 watts. And if I remember correctly, we've got a 16-channel, I think, amplifier. And um, I'm trying to remember, I think it's about 13 speakers total in this car. So definitely an awesome sound system to order in a convertible um, when you're on the freeway. Oh, yeah, Lauren really wants me to show you the glass controls here so you can see different angles. And who, who's it made by? Do you remember? I want to say it's, Swarovski, but yeah. um, I'm not and really I think sure. That's, I think that's who it is. But um, other uh, um, people watching the video, please leave comments, definitely. But I think that's who produced it for us. And then we also have um, up there on the radio volume control, too. So it's really nice, as you can tell when the sun hits it. You want to tell us about the central control here on the center yeah, console? Yeah, one thing I love, um, I love the neck heated neck warmer because in a convertible, I think it's absolutely necessary. I mean, I'm the type of person, I love driving with the top down if I had a convertible. Um, so I think this is great. And it has three different levels of heat. So have the That's top down really all you nice. want. Yeah, because it does get chilly out here in the wintertime in California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, obviously we don't get snow down at this level. But um, it's definitely can get into the 40s, even the 30s for us. So it is really nice to be able to have that top down at night or even during the day at the freeway speeds and be able to stay warm. Yeah, so we have our uh, dynamic driving modes here, including adaptive, the auto hold function, which I love. Um, now yeah. auto hold, really quick, just so we can explain, just so that, hey, what's auto hold? Anytime in drive that you come to a stop, let's say a red light or even um, in traffic, it's automatically, like Lauren has it in drive right now, it's going to put on the electromechanical parking brake. Mm -hmm. So you can see we're in drive and the car's not moving. And what's nice is she's got her feet, her foot off the brake pedal. Yeah. So that way you can just sit, relax, and then to release it, you would just hit the gas pedal and that would automatically yeah. release. It's great for that uh, LA traffic, you know, or if you're driving on the stoplights, it just mm -hmm. allows you so that your leg doesn't get tired. Oh, you want to show us some of the camera views up there, I guess? Mm -hmm. we got... so, yeah, we have here a wide angle camera. Let me close the that door. One. Yeah, so that. there is our front camera, which is really nice. So pulling out of an alleyway where the sides of the streets are, you know, blocked with cars, you basically have that front fisheye type of camera, Sorry. which is neat with that because it'll actually highlight on each part of the screen if they if it senses movement. So and that way you can just stick the nose of the car out and it'll look down the street for you. So it's a really nice feature. Close and then that. we'll show. Yeah. And then, and then let we'll, me show you the uh, parking yeah. assistance package. The other gives views you the, uh, too. What was the other views we had up there too? I think you had the 360 oh, yeah. camera. And then you can tap different sides of the car so you can check it out. Even, That's already on the back. And then now you can see the side of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I can check even show out. like where I want to open my door. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open there. If there's a car next to it, it has the same lines that are indicated by the park distance control that tell me how close I am to open my door to another uh, car. Perfect. 
but very customizable. Like we're back on the main screen here and there's three different information tablets, I guess you would say templates together here, but you can get up to four. Mm -hmm. And then there's even more pages so that you can just slide across. As you can see, there's three pages. So it's virtually just like a phone or a tablet. So you can put all these different widgets in what order you want and be able to see it. Yeah. And then and from the top, as you can see, is that our history basically is what you see across yeah, there? Yeah, and this is where you can customize that. One thing in iDrive 7, and this applies for any new vehicle that has iDrive 7 in it, you create your driver profile. It's the same login that you would use your, for, for your BMW Connected app. And one thing that I think is super important because I get this question as a genius all the time, how, what do I do when I give my key to the valet? You know, you have this $100,000 vehicle that you're gonna give to a valet and they're, you know, don't wanna put their home address or anything in there. When you create that profile, you go to valet parking mode. Once you create that profile, you set a pin and then whoever you give the car to, when you lock it with that pin that you set yourself, they can't see anything inside your iDrive. They can pretty much only drive it and see the backup camera, but they'll have no access to anything else unless they put that oh, pin great. in. Oh, great. That's good to hear. So what we can do now, let's put that wind deflector in. How's that sound, Lauren? Is that, that good? good? Oh, but first, let's tell everybody, where can we follow you at? I'm at BMW Lauren on Instagram. Awesome. Cool. So let's go do the wind deflector. Let's see if we can get this in quickly. We'll go for a little drive. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. So we have it in a protective bag back here. I think Lauren will pull it out real quick. I just unlocked it, so we'll get that out. There we go. Okay, then what you, let's go ahead and close that up. So Lauren's going to unfold it there. Just pull it straight out. Yeah. And then what we'll do, let's turn it around. Oh, other way around. So let's, yeah, so, well, let's... Go ahead and go out and then you take this side go ahead and take that one there we go and then what we're gonna do and then before let me get it in on my side here and then what we'll do is let's pull that up now lauren go ahead and flex it there we go she's getting it popped in so there we go we lock it in there and then you can pull it up and as you can see it's nice because you can throw stuff underneath a jacket or whatever um, you know small bag so that way they don't blow out and then this as you can see is folded up but even when you put the top up you can just put it down so if you're really not gonna have people in the back seat you can definitely just leave it in there if you'd like so let's go ahead and go for a drive oh Lauren you gonna take your hair out of your um, you want to I just want to show them the wind difference which is really cool so let's go ahead let's put it down for a second I just want to show everybody let's get our seat belts on let's put the camera through the seat belt there we go all right what's the temperature right now oh, 72 degrees guys it's and ladies up today, yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go for a spin oh did you want to show them that cool remote display so, key we do have a display nice. key so that's kind of like what the 7 saw series. that sitting in there yeah very so, cool um you don't have to worry about it being charged to lock unlock and start the car like a normal key that, those are all things that are already built into the key programming if you will um but if you want to use this it has some of the functionality of the bmw connected app so if i unlock it i can lock and unlock the doors i can turn on and off the lights I can see my notifications, see how many miles that I have to empty. I can set my departure time, which cools off the car before you get into it. Nice, preconditioning, definitely yeah. nice. And then what about this one? I know I've got a lot of clients that like this one. So this is the BMW digital, I wanna say digital key, I call it the credit card key. Mm -hmm. So you're basically keeping this inside your wallet. It activates inside here, it should inside be activated here. already. So this is designed that if you have no key on you, um, or you want to give this to somebody when it's activated you tap it on the outside of the driver's door handle it only unlocks the driver's door and if you want to start up the car you lay it inside the pad for the wireless charging which is also an rfid reader which that's what it's built into the card wait about five seconds and then start up the car as normal oh great so that way if you're out for the night like you said a lady with a nice little hutch or something you want to carry the, the larger heavier key yeah. you can have that or a gentleman can just have that in his wallet and that way you're not carrying it and then all like she said you you know tap it to the door then put it into the uh, the reader down here and then you can start it up so it's something you, you could use every day but it's a little bit more of a procedure to get into the vehicle so at least this way if you're going out for the night and you didn't want to carry the key fob you definitely do have that option
Cool. So we are ready, you putting it in the sport mode? Yeah, I'm totally ready. All right, let's go. So as you can see with Lauren, we do have some wind going on here. <laughs> nice exhaust snap. <laughs> All right. The handling of this car is ridiculous. Yeah. Throwing the camera around everywhere. Yeah, it's so very, very fun. We're just going to get out here on the main road real quick. Let me show you the difference here, but yeah, the exhaust is phenomenal, the power, especially in that sport mode. Now, the sport button is going to wake up your throttle response, so it's going to be a lot more responsive. Look at the trees. And then um, steering's going to tighten up, um, shift points, engine software. So you do have Sport and Sport Plus. Sport Plus is just at another higher level and it will um, adjust the stability a little bit more play. So that way you can have a little bit more fun even though it's an all wheel drive. So, And one thing that's really neat about our all wheel drive system too is that it will put up to the most, up to 100% of the available power to the front two wheels, which is pretty amazing with our X drive all wheel drive. Sorry, so what right. we'll do here is I'm gonna put up that wind deflector for Lauren. And Lauren, if you wanna put the windows up, Let's put up all four windows. Let's do that. And let's put up the rears. And you do have that one single button to do all four as an option. So now we're gonna go ahead, go ahead Lauren and jump out on the boulevard here. This way we can get up to speed. I think it's around 50, 55 out here. <laughs> Woo, man, that is fun. Oh yeah, that is so much fun. <laughs> it's the first time I'm trying to hold a camera with a gimbal while you're launching this thing. So definitely very fun. But now as we can see, what are we going? 55? Windows wow, up? my hair's not even moving. Yeah. I'm not even the type of fussy person about my hair. I'm just a wash and go person, but this is great. Yeah. Normally with other convertible tops, I wear like a hat or a baseball cap and it just kind of stays that way. But wow, this is great. My hair's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and it's a really nice kind of enclosed enclosed bubble, um, especially like in the wintertime, like we were saying, heated steering wheel, heated seats. You know, you can really have your own little bubble when it's 30 degrees out, cruising around at night looking at the stars. So and out here in California, we just obviously we don't have the harsh weather like some other parts of the country or the world, but what a fun car. This is incredible. I mean, there's no there's barely any wind coming inside the car. Yeah. So, if any of you guys have an E31 8 Series, please let us know what you think because I was so worried that after 20 years that BMW would not retain its originality with the original 8 Series because the, the original 8 Series was amazing. Um, but actually, if you mesh the two cars together, you'll see that 8 Series was a driver's car. This is very much a driver's car. You put the two together and a lot of the features and the placement of things have stayed the same, which I absolutely love because if you're a BMW enthusiast like me, that's the kind of things that you really want to see inside the car. That is true. Uh, absolute driving pleasure. I love the hidden headlights of the first generation 8 Series. I thought that was an amazing car. Such a sharp front end. But hey, thanks everybody for watching. <laughs> and um, hey, if you like the video, please share it on your other media sources. And we will see you later. Say bye-bye, Lauren. Bye. See ya.